if your Shopify checkout page is too boring to you and you want to customize it. After watching this video, you'll be able to customize your Shopify website to your own taste. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Alright, so once you get to your Shopify dashboard, the next thing you want to do is to click on this online store. Once you do that, you want to come here and click on this customize. Once you get here, you want to click here and choose the checkout and new customer accounts. Now on this page, this is where you'll be able to customize your checkout. Now you can do a few things here. You can actually add a logo. So the first thing I'm going to do is to obviously add a logo. So I'm going to be using uh, one of this logo. So after you add your logo, there's few things you can actually do right here. You can see the logo is very tiny, so I can actually adjust it right now. And if you want to check this thing on mobile, you can actually click on this mobile. Then this is how it's going to look like on mobile. So back. Now another thing you can also do is that where do you want to put this logo? Do you want to put it at the checkout form or you want to put it at the other summary or you want to make it a full widget? Right? So now if I put it on the other form and save this, now if I go back to my store, I refresh it. Now you can see that this is how it's going to look like it's going to be on this particular page. Now if I come back here and change it to the other summary and I save it and I come back refresh you can see that the logo is going to move from here down to here now you can choose the one you prefer but for me i'm going to just going to leave it on the checkout form now once you do that you can scroll down a little bit now once you scroll down here right here you can see that there is background you can see there is background one there is background two and this is background two is going to appear on the customer account page and other summary and all that so now what i want to do is that on this background one is I want to actually uh, try to add a photo so I'm just going to add uh, one of this photo image sorry click on done then once I do that you can see that the image of the bag have actually be added to our store but in most cases this is not going to look nice on your store so you just want to remove it right now now the image too is going to be the image that's going to appear on the other store so now there's background uh, color right here and there's another background color right here so uh, if you check here you have two pages here so this is one page this is another page so now let's say i want to customize this second page which is this particular page what i can do is i can come here and change this thing to black right so this is the other the other summary no this is the i want to change the other summary to black not this so i'm just going to change it to black then click on save then once i save this if i refresh this you can see that this particular part is actually black why this is white now let's say i want to customize this white part a little bit what i can do is i can come back here and let's say i want to do something like maybe like gray or um, let me make it a little bit green parts all right so i'm just going to save it come back here and refresh this you can see right now that it's going to look just that now another thing you can also do when you come here is you can actually change this accent so this accent is the button this particular you know this particular button you are going to click you can see that it's blue so if i change it to maybe like green now you might want to change this to match with your brand color if you have a brand color but if you don't have you can just mm, like play around with the colors that match with your site so you can just play around with this you can see that you can see right here that the color is changing so if i take it back to the green i can adjust it to the red and you see so you can adjust it to your taste so let me just say i want to make it um purple right so a little bit of purple or green it's all depend on you so now this button color is the color that is going to uh you can click on right here that's going to do um pay now so now i might want to also adjust this button color maybe to something like black and let me just save this so that i can check how this look look like from the back end so you can see this is how the button look like right now so if i click on this 
and I showed that uh, you can see that the button is now black and this one is actually green right so you can just play around with all these things and see the one that work better so right now if you check inside the boxes you can see that it's white now if you want to make it transparent to match with the background color what you can actually do is to click on this transparent you can see that it's now transparent if i save this and uh, come back to this page and refresh this you are going to see that it's transparent it's not white like the way it's used to but for me i'm just going to leave it white so that can be um like that now the heading if you want to change the heading i've actually changed some of this heading but if you want to change the heading you can just come back here and play around with some of this heading if i put it on the default it's going to change um this is the heading and these are the headings so let me just choose one of the let me try this you can see that it actually changed the font um, um, style so let me try this you can see the font size has changed this is the heading and you can see so i'm just going to see the one that look better um, i can just play around with all this thing you can also change the body this is the body so let's say i want to do this so it's going to change in style let's say i want to change it to something like this you can just check it's going to keep changing you can see it has changed so you can just play around with the font and see which one works better for you but for me i might just have to leave it at the default font now the other thing you can also do is the checkout layout now this checkout layout is designed like one page you just put your name put your phone number um put your email address put your credit card details or if you want to pay with paper pay with your paper then you are good to go but if you want to make it a three page checkout like three checkouts that means there is going to be a page that they are going to put their contact details shipping details then when you click on continue it's going to redirect you to this shipping page then once you get to this shipping page it's going to now redirect you to the payment page but for the most part you might want to go with the one page checkout this is going to give you a better conversion rate because people don't want to be stressed of going to the next page to the next page they just want to do everything at once and they want to leave the site and place their order so i think that is this is the last part you can just play around with some of this thing you can even change the background color of this thing to black so if i come back i can decide to say okay i want to change everything to black because it's going to turn to black and uh, if you change that to black you might want to change maybe the button you might want to change the button to maybe like something like green right so if i do that and i save and uh, let's say i want to change this other background this secondary background to maybe something like gray something like gray All right so i'm going to save this and uh, come back right here and refresh this let's see yeah you can see that it's actually changed and if you come back here you can see that the pay now button which is the share the pay button is actually green so you can just play around with this thing but basically that is how you can customize your shopify checkout page if you find this video helpful kindly give this video a thumbs up so that youtube can recommend this video to more people like you share this video with your friends subscribe to this channel turn on the bell notification so that anytime i drop a new video just like this you'll be among the first people to be notified